Hello and welcome to the Farm Safe Schools program for 2022. I am Alma Jordan, the Farm Safe Schools coordinator with AgriAware, and along with AgriKids, the Irish Farmers Association, with the support of the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine, we are delighted to bring you and your class on this Farm Safe Schools journey. We have broken down the Farm Safe Schools program into eight simple tasks. And just by signing up, you are already one step closer to becoming an accredited farm safe school and helping not only to create more farm safety conversations, but to create a safer future on our farms for everyone. So as soon as you have signed up, what do you do next? Well, you're gonna need to download the teacher guide. We also recommend that you download the Farm Safe Schools suggested schedule, which will help you plan and run your Farm Safe School journey. And very importantly, you're gonna need some very, very enthusiastic Farm Safe Schoolers. And from the pilot program we ran last year, we have found out that some Farm Safe Schoolers are incredibly enthusiastic about the Farm Safe Schools journey and are already equipped with loads of knowledge and know-how on the topic of farm safety. You will find those first two resources on the farmsafeschools.ie website. When you head over to that website, choose the class that you are running the programme with. Is it infants, first to second, third to fourth, fifth to sixth class? You can choose whatever level or whatever grade you would like to run the programme. And you will see that all important teachers guide there too. As soon as you go in to your specific class, you will have everything that you need to get your journey underway. The suggested schedule is there. There's also some posters that you can download to hang up in corridors or in your classroom. You can also book a webinar, which have been specially designed to cover all of the topics and modules needed within the EP program and will be run live over the course of the EP program. And once again, just in case you missed it, we have a link to the teacher's guide there too. The Farm Safe Schools program is divided into three modules, farmer and field safety, animal safety and care, tractor and machinery safety. So the main topics when it comes to, to the area of farm safety. Within each of those modules, we have further divided them into up to seven topics. And again, these topics will cover every aspect of that particular module. In order to be accredited as a farm safe school, you will have to cover off the minimum number of topics per module. For example, infants to second class must co cover off and submit evidence of covering at least two topics per module. Third to sixth class, we ask that you do three topics per module. But if you think you can do more, that's okay. And trust me, you will be rewarded for it. Everything that you need for each of the modules and the topics are contained on your class page on farmsafeschools.ie. We have a load of resources created, especially to help and support you along the way. We have discussion sheets, lesson plans, worksheets, activities. We have some really fun spot the farm, uh, spot the farm dangers. You can book your webinar and you can take the webinar quiz, which is a great way to reinforce the learning outcomes from children who have viewed the webinar. The same resources are available for each of the M modules. But that's not all. If you look further down on that particular page, you will also find the useful links and resources page. And here we have reached out and collated information from all the different stakeholders and organizations who are involved in the area of safety, such as the Road Safety Authority, the Irish Water Safety, Embrace Farm, um, and also Horse Racing Ireland, who have given us some fantastic videos around the area of horse safety, which are ideal for when you're doing module number two. But when it comes to the webinars, this is where we like to have a little bit of fun. And we try to make these, even though they are virtual, as engaging and interactive as we possibly can. So the Q&A is open over the course of the entire webinar. And for the younger classes, they run for 30 minutes. And for the older groups, they run up to 40 minutes. And again, they're covering off, there's one for each module and they cover off each of the topics involved to help you and your class become a farm safe school. But by all means, if you think you can be more creative or if there's something else that you would like to, to do that would help and support and be evidence of that learning has taken place, then by all means do it. We have seen some wonderful examples of artwork, 
drama, plays, videos that have been put to, together on the topic of farm safety. We were also delighted to see speakers being invited into classrooms or to participate in, in virtual webinar events who are all talking about different topics. There were speakers from not, not only farms, but nursings. We had vets coming in and also representatives from the local Irish Farmers Association. Why don't you also create a model farm in your classroom? It's a great way to show and highlight where exactly those safety signs need to, need to go. But whatever you do, please tell us about it. Tell everybody about it. By using the hashtag Farm Safe Schools, you are expanding and growing the farm safety conversation. But remember, do please tag us in because we want to hear all about it too. Along the way, we will be looking for some Farm Safe School regional champions. And this is where we ask teachers to nominate children from your class who you feel are going above and beyond what is asked of them. They might be children who don't excel or don't really enjoy some of the more typical academic classes, but absolutely love everything to do with farming. They might also be children who, who don't live, on, who don't live on, on a farm. They might be children who do live, live on a farm and are really wonderful in bringing in the information from their own home and sharing it with their, with their classmates. The children who reach that wonderful uh, status of a regional champion will get a framed certificate for their work and will get a pass for Dublin Zoo. We're going to have eight regional winners overall. The first call and winners being announced in uh, March and the second happening in, in April. So there's loads of time to get those nominations in. You can, uh, you can nominate all at farmsafeschools.ie with the uh, online link that is there. Now, when you have um, covered off the, the number of topics that you want to do per module, you'll be in a position to submit your work, which again, you can do two ways, online at farmsafeschools.ie. It might be Google Docs, it might be a blog page that you've set up, and um, it might be a web page that you've set up on your, um, on, on your school website. All of those methods are absolutely fine. But you can also post it in. You can put together a scrapbook or, or a logbook and post it into us directly. But if you want that returned, please do include a stamped address envelope with your submission. Remember, the closing date, the absolute deadline for all submissions is the 6th of May, 2022. Unfortunately, we cannot move that date at all. So please uh, make sure you have all of your work in before that. And very, very in, in importantly, we want you to, to let us know and to work hard to uh, reach the accreditation status that you want to get to. Do you want to be a farm safe school? If you've completed a minimum number of topics and you've provided enough e evidence to prove they have been done, then we will happily accredit you as a farm safe school. If you want to go one step further, maybe do three topics per module if you're an infant of the second class or five topics per module for the older classes, then you will become a farm safe star school. But if you want to go one step further again, then you will be on your way to becoming a farm safe superstar school if you provide enough evidence that you have achieved all topics in each module. And trust me, achieving a Farm Safe School Superstar status is a very big achievement. And we've got something along the way which you could also uh, be awarded with. But when you do submit, please, please, please make sure that you label all the materials correctly. All too often we were sent in pictures with no label, no dis description and no, and no context. And that makes it very difficult for us to uh, judge what exactly is happening in the be a picture. We don't want anybody marked down at all because we know the amount of work that goes into on this particular journey and we want to make sure that we don't accidentally mark somebody down uh, taking away a star. Okay. Um, but as I said, um, the suggested schedule, all those dates in red can't be moved. So if you're starting your journey on February 1st and feel you'd like to start with tractors or animals, that's absolutely fine. You can start your, your journey in whatever way that you want. But come 6th of May or in the, in the days and weeks up to, up to that, you, can, you must remember to get your submissions ready. Nothing can be put in after the 6th of May. 
And remember to include in your teacher's guide the information form that is here on the cover. It's on the inside cover. This will tell us exactly who you are, your school, your, your role number, and the contact number. Okay. And we also have included a submission checklist, which again is in the teacher's guide at the end. And that will help keep you on track um, and make sure that you've covered off everything that you want to uh, do. Okay. Now, for those schools and class that achieves the superstar status, we will be judging which of you will become our national champions. Maybe you're doing the program as a whole school, or maybe you're doing the program just as a class. Make sure you let us know when you sub submit. But, but we will have a national champion award for school and for class also. And there will be a cash prize involved as well as a fantastic certificate. Only thing we ask is that with the, with the prize money, that you use it in a way that benefits the welfare and well-being of the school. Okay, so if we take a look at some of our champions from the pilot program, big congratulations again to our national winner, Skull Nave Breed in Talbotstown County Wick, Wicklow, who received 2,000 euro as our national champion. They did some fantastic videos with families in their area on farming, on horses, on, on machinery, the students also directed plays and dramas for their classmates to, to watch. And the older classes actually put together some farmer wellbeing booklets, which were really, really wonderful and tied in with the farmer welfare and wellbeing topic. The runners up uh, was the sixth class pupils in Ballymore National School in Donegal. Last year in the pilot, we did a, a, a winner and then a, a runner up. This time around, we're going to have two winners, class and school. They won 500 euro and we were delighted to see how they invested their money with some amazing outdoor e equipment that the whole school could enjoy. So a big well done and congratulations once again to Ballymore and School Nave Reed in Talbotstown. So if you've submitted on time, you've given evidence to show that you've achieved and covered off all the topics that you wanted to cover off for each module, then you will have done it. You will have achieved farm safe school status and you will be receiving a certificate to confirm that honour. If there's anything that you need along the way, remember to stay in touch. Office at agriware.ie. We're here to support you every step of the way. If there's something you don't un understand, if there's something you're not sure of, or if there's something you want to share but via feedback, please do get in touch. Because even though this is a serious topic, we want you to have fun with it also. And I think you will be amazed at just how capable and aware the children are on this particular topic. So I hope you are ready. I hope you are signed up. And I hope you and your class and your school have a fantastic Farm Safe Schools journey. Once again, if there's anything you need along the way, please do get in touch. Email office at agriware.ie. We'll be delighted to help you out. Take care and best of luck.